Today I'm going to show you how to make Guyanese special Oreo cheesecake. Now some of the ingredients you're going to need of course is some cream cheese. We're going to get some sour cream, a couple of eggs, a lemon or a lime, vanilla. Of course if you want Oreos, you got to have some Oreos, some sugar, some stale Easter chocolate left over. And I'm going to cheat with the crust and just use Graham cracker crust that's pre-made instead of making my own. Because my cream cheese is already refrigerated, we're going to need to put it in the microwave and warm it up a little to get it nice and soft. So we need about three bars. Now I'm going to put the melted cream cheese inside of my wife's brand new KitchenAid mixer here that I got her for Black Friday. All right, then we're going to pop this down and turn this on. Oh, shoot, there's no blade on there. All right, just slam that down, lock it in. And mix this up. Next we're going to add two-thirds of a cup of sugar. Next we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're going to add a lemon or lime just to give it a little sour taste. All right we'll just let that beat for a little bit. Next we're going to add some eggs. All right we're going to turn this back on again to beat up those eggs. Next we're going to add a half cup of sour cream. Blend that up. All right, meanwhile, we've got this boiling water here. We'll put this basin on top. And I've got a couple of pieces of old Easter chocolate. Just put that in there and wait for it to melt. Now, if you're planning to use any of those Easter Bunny chocolates, probably a better idea to smash them up before you go. So you just put them in this plastic bag here, make sure it's nice and sealed. And I'll just come with my wife's kitchen hammer here. And break it into small pieces so it's easy to melt. And we'll just stir that up there so it turns into this nice paste. You want to make sure you don't use any chocolate that has nuts inside because that's not going to melt. Put a little tiny tip of milk inside just to make it nice and pourable. I'm going to mix that up. Now for the graham crust you can make your own or you can just cheat and buy these pie pan ones that are pre-made for you. This one here is just a regular graham crust and this one is chocolate flavored. Now this amount here is enough to fill both pie pans. I'll just go ahead and pour that in. All right, now it's time to do the chocolate swirl. So we'll just put this in here like that. Draw an S, because that's the beginning of my name. And my name. And an S for the wife as well. All right, now S is also for swirl, so I'm also gonna go ahead and just swirl this around so it looks pretty cool. Throw this around a little bit. Bye. You may miss. All right, now it's time for the Oreo part of this cheesecake. I chose to use the birthday cake version because it's my wife's birthday tomorrow. I'm just gonna open this up here. There's two ways we can install the Oreos onto the cheesecake. We can either put them inside directly, we can crumble them up, or we can put them on top. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take a bunch of Oreos here, put them inside of this plastic bag. That's to prevent splatter. Then I'm gonna use my wife's kitchen hammer here again. Up, make a cookie crumble, then take the crumble and sprinkle it all over the cheesecake. Alright, so the stove is nice and warm. I'm gonna open that up. First thing we're gonna put in there is a pan of water. And the reason we do that is to give a little humidity in here to prevent the cheesecake from cracking. Put our first cheesecake in there, and then the chocolate cheesecake in there. And we'll check on this in another 20 minutes or so. Ooh, every time you open that, it just really hits you. Anyway, so well, 20 minutes is done. And the top of this cake is starting to get a little firm. I'm gonna pull it out here. So now that the cake is actually half dry, I'm gonna go ahead and insert some Oreos inside to make it into a nice pattern. So we'll just put this right into here. Just line this cake here with Oreos all the way around. put this cheesecake back in to bake. We'll switch the positions on the shelf here and we'll let that set for another 30 minutes or so. Whew. All right, this cheesecake is pretty much ready and done. So I'll take that out here and we'll pull this guy out here. And that's pretty much it for this cheesecake. We're gonna let it cool down before I cut it and serve it to my wife for her birthday. Now make sure you subscribe to see more videos just like this one.